No trouble. How are you? Good. I got a little bit of a headache, but I'm okay. Can you guess one of the most overlooked maintenance items while we're waiting on people? Another dip service. One second. Sorry. Coolant flush and brake fluid exchanges in the top tent. That's not what we're talking about today. have to do a dip service though you're not wrong on that but it's not as overlooked as some of the other things nope not tranny that's part of the coolant brake fluid it's kind of in the same category You want a hint? Or you want to keep guessing? Mm, gas filters are usually part of the fuel pump in the tank. Uh, PCV? Not really. PCV does get clogged though. Hey Jonathan, not the air filter. You're naming just about everything on the truck. Jonathan, trouble is guessing what is one of the most overlooked maintenance items on your vehicle. That's a good one, but no, not the spare tire. I don't even think the spare tire was in the list of top 10. That's a good one though. Nobody ever thinks about spare tire. Because usually people have like rims and stuff on their vehicle and they don't think about the spare tire until they have a rim go flat. Or a, a tire go flat on their rubber band wheels. That is a good one though. We, we should add that to the list.
You're close. It's not the rear wiper blades, it's the front. That's that's the correct answer. That it's actually the wipers. As you can see, I'm outside. See all the dark behind me? It was nice and sunny earlier. And I was like, you know what? Hey, Lisa. It's like, I need to get some new wipers. I was sponsored by um, Rain Eater Wiper Blades, and then I got an email from them. Um, they actually sold the company without telling anybody. So, they're, they're gone. I don't know who's running them now. All day before mentioning that. See, you never know you need them until it starts raining and you turn on your wipers and your windshield, it starts streaking on your windshield. So I went and got some wipers. We went grocery shopping today. <laughs> I went ahead and with the rain X this time. Seeing as how the company that I was sponsored by is not in business anymore. So we're going to replace the wiper blades. And this Ranger, wow. Yeah, see the wind's already starting to pick up. The Ranger uses, it's a nine by three J hook. That's basically, you just open this lock right here. Slide the J hook in and then lock it back. And this is funny. They have to literally print this on here. Wow. It's crazy that they had to print that on there. <laughs> Remove before use. Hey Bob, how are you doing today, buddy? I'm talking about one of the most overlooked maintenance items on your vehicle, which is wiper blades. Turn the camera around. Alright, turn back around the other way. Obviously, I'm probably not going to get a good shot here. Sorry guys. See, these are the motorcraft ones. These things are garbage. They've been on there for a while. These are different. Way different. Oh, sorry guys. I haven't dealt with these before. Break out the directions, huh? Small nine by three.
Oh, there it is. See? Slides all the way in. Locks. Three inches of sleep. Spring tension in the arm is bad. Wow. I'm trying to do this. You guys can see. It's not really working. Get a little pin in there. Push it in. down if I can do it with one hand sorry my phone's doing all sorts of crazy here my bad pin push up slide the wiper down probably just shouldn't have thrown that on the hood of my truck who said they got three inches of sleep Jonathan's in 65 degrees. All right, so you want to rub salt in the wound. It's 84 degrees here. Yeah, 9 by 3 J-hook. Bob, you want to come here where it's 84 degrees? Yes. No, that's just the little... It's just a little plastic thing they put on there. Remove before use. I didn't transform the GMC into a Super Duty. You know how you do that? You know how you transform it into a Super Duty? You go buy one. So that is one of the most overlooked maintenance items you got to be able to see most people don't even realize until it's raining or snowing and they can't see out of the windshield because it's not clearing it yellow blades would be cool It'd make it stand out
Who was in the chat yesterday when I got sprayed with transmission fluid? They threw Monopoly money at you too? Y'all are crazy. That customer still tries to call me. I went back and watched it. It, it was pretty funny. Geyser of transmission fluid, yeah. Fountain. Her total bill. So I showed you the labor was like 81 88 That was just the labor. With the parts and everything else added into it, it was like almost 15 grand. But the, to, what she told the service advisor was that her brother just worked on it previously and he's a master mechanic. Yeah. I would buy Dodge. what Dodge does. Master mechanic, more like a disaster mechanic, yeah. What would you call it? Explodimus Maximus? That one wasn't a CVT. That one was just a regular automatic, by the way. None of my Fords ever left me sitting. Agreed. Look, 30 bucks in wiper blades. I'd rather be able to see than not be able to see and run into somebody. like $34 a pack for both of them so that's on the top 10 list of most neglected maintenance items and trouble you named a few of them coolant flush transmission flush Jonathan named spare tire which that's actually pretty good nobody ever thinks about the spare tire YouTube certified man You know, I'm, I'm going to do that. My ASC patches, I'm going to take them off my uniform. Well, I don't even have my uniform yet. Instead of putting my ASC patch on there, I'm going to put the YouTube ASC certified. Just to see if people pick up on it. NAFC certified. Good one. Maybe that can go on my left arm. My YouTube certified on my right arm. Hey, do it, Jonathan. I'll get one from you. I'll wear it.
You guys got any other questions on maintenance items? Trouble, you named air filter too. That was a good one. I take a hat with that on there. I collect hats. You're welcome, Jonathan. I wonder if my boss would put it out there, like where all the all the people come in to talk to the advisors, like all the ASE people. Obviously, I'm on there, but if we put the YouTube certified, YouTube certified tech, just as a joke to see if people would pick it up. YouTube certified and Scotty Kilmer certified. When you get to the Scotty Kilmer level, that means you're master. But you have to have so many mess ups before you get there. See you, Bob. Yeah, that's, that's the steps, man. You get YouTube certified and then you work your way up with all the BS and not knowing what you're doing and eventually you take the BS test and you get Scotty Kilmer certified. And once you get Scotty Kilmer certified, nobody can tell you anything. Followed by 1980s Toyota certified. Yep, I guess those are the steps that I got to go through now. I guess all that schooling and stuff that the dealership sent me to just doesn't even count. Have I ever shaved a windshield? No. I've broken a few. Or I could just go through a car wash. Does it? Is this a trick? Y'all trying to get me to mess up my windshield? Did Scotty approve of this? I've never done it. I've never even heard of it. See, that's why I love you guys. I can never tell if you're messing with me or not. Get transmission fluid shot at me and a day later I got you guys telling me to scrape my windshield. Shave it. Alright, I'm gonna try it, just not on my car. make a video out of it. What kind of foaming clean should I use? A 
What do y'all think? You think I should put it in a band? Brayway. Do it. We could be. You got a big beard too, man. Those beard people gotta stick together, man. Steel wool on glass. If I do it, I'm not doing it to mine. I'll do it to somebody else's. Or an old junk car or something. I need a stick. I need a really big stick so I can stick it through the rims of this dude that keeps riding his dirt bike through here. Man, I don't care if you got a dirt bike and ride, but damn. Oh man, he rolls through here. He'll he'll ride wheelies down the road and stuff like that. I mean, I wouldn't be able to close them. I can paintball them or shoot them with airsoft. I know they're kids and they don't really have anywhere to ride, but he's not wearing a helmet. He's not wearing, basically he's just wearing shorts, riding wheelies. You're gonna find him. I heard him go by a minute ago. Anyway, yeah, maintenance items, that's one of the top most neglected maintenance items. Nobody ever thinks about it. Do uh, you guys have any other questions or anything? Because I am starving. I have a headache. Sarah glass to polish door glass. Can you email me a link to that, Jonathan? One of my buddies has an automotive detailing company. I'm gonna forward that to him. I'm about to go eat, I'm starving. I got a headache, I had to go grocery shopping and I don't like crowds in Walmart. I am going to go get some food, dinner, I think it's only like 4 o'clock, a little early. But I got somewhere I got to be at 6.15, so I'm going to go eat right now. But y'all drop them comments down there. Okay, yeah, post it down there and I'm going to forward it to my friend Chris. Get some lunch. It's 4 o'clock, man. How late of a lunch you taking? <laughs> Mail, motherfucker. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat, you guys. I love you bunches. Thanks for tuning in. Jonathan, drop that down in the comments for me so I can forward it to my friend Chris. Um, I will see you guys on the next one, okay?